everyone. Um, so it is May 6th. Today would have been my first pregnancy's due date. Um, although we all know that that didn't work out. And I had a really, really good weekend. Um, just with my husband, we did a lot. We went for a walk. I had to work on Saturday for Pampered Chef, which went really well. Um, so we did that, and we went to dinner, and we had wine, and I had a margarita yesterday, and we planted tons of plants, and we mulched. We just did a lot of stuff this weekend, so it was really productive, and I have, like, severe allergies today, so um, I don't know if you can tell. My eyes are, like, watering so bad. I'm not crying yet, I swear. I woke up, and I looked like my eyes were, like, so closed shut from all the allergies, so... Um, anyways, so it was a really good weekend. Um, I was really pumped about that. I'm sad it's Monday. Um, but it's my second week of my new job or my new position. So I'm hoping that goes well. Um, so yeah, so today I, you know, no one ever really delivers on their due date, but I could have been in a hospital today delivering my daughter. Um, but unfortunately she was taken away through DNC. Um, and I sit here not really upset with that whole situation, more upset the fact that I still haven't gotten my period. Um, I'm, I'm six days late. Um, I'm not pregnant. Um, we didn't BD at all this month and my temps have stayed consistently in the 96s. They never, I never had a jump. I've never once been that low in the 96s and I've not, the last time this happened, I didn't ovulate and that was in November into December. So since the miscarriage, I've only ovulated. So it's been November, December, January, February, March, April. So it's been if six months, um, seven months, seven months. I didn't ovulate for those two months, and I didn't ovulate. So I've only ovulated three times, and I um, and I think the month I did ovulate after surgery, I don't think it was good ovulation at all. So, um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to think about that whole situation. So I think I'm going to call the RE right now and just leave a message and just say, you know, because every time I make plans to do an IUI, something comes up. So, um, I'm going to tell them, you know, I, I want to do the IUI, but I have my cycle and I don't know what to do about that whole situation. So maybe they can, um, put me on something or we're just going to have to ride it out. I feel like I'm going to get on flow and I kept saying that all weekend and I really thought I was going to get it and Tuesday night at acupuncture she's like you have a pms -y pulse and this treatment should bring it on tomorrow and it usually does but nothing I just I keep going to the bathroom and there's nothing there and it's like you know not every month are you like, yeah, I want my period, but hello, this month I want my period, so get here. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at. I don't know what I want to do today. I think, I think tonight, I think I'm going to just light a candle in honor, a candle in honor of our daughter, um, I think our life would be so different right now. I wouldn't have been out drinking wine and having margaritas this weekend. And, um, I don't know. It just, it sucks. And, uh, I think it would have been easier for me if I had miscarried a lot sooner. Not to say that a miscarriage is any easier, but I was really attached to that baby and I was so close to that free zone and um to just miscarry right before that and literally probably miscarried the day I told my family 
breaks my heart that I had to let them in on something that wasn't there or real. And my family's kind of just never brought it up again. And, you know, they just let it be. And we never talked about it. Um, so, yeah. So that's that's where I'm at. I, this is just a stupid vlog. I'm kind of sad today, but I, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I have to go to work. And I have to do work. I think I think I'll be a little out of it today. And I might have a little, I don't know, emotional day to say the least. But I'd be ecstatic if my period showed up today. I think that would be a sign. Um, yeah, so because um, I, miscarried on, I miscarried on October 4th. And I had the DNC on October 5th. So, and I was due May 6th. Originally, I was due May 1st. And then they moved my due date. So, which I think I really would have been due May 1st. It's just the baby wasn't growing right. She wasn't growing right. I hate calling her the baby and knowing the sex. I feel like it's, we've been calling her our first daughter just because she was. I mean, she was a miracle. Like, we tried for a year and a half. And we got pregnant on our own and it was a miracle we got pregnant um so and since then it's just we've been trying I mean we've nailed ovulation so well and um yeah it's not working so I feel like there's something more going on and something's not right so I'm hoping that they'll do something today when I call and just I don't know, even if they just send me for blood work just to see what's going on, where I am, what my hormone levels are. Um, but yeah, so that's all I got. It's Monday. Um, I have allergies like crazy, and I, this is going to annoy the crap out of me if I'm going to cry all day because my office is so stuffy, so once the allergies season gets really bad, the office gets really bad, and I have a feeling I might be like, stuffed up, sneezing, craziness, um, this week in the office, so, um, so it's be beautiful here, and I'm really excited about that, um, it's supposed to be in the 70s, I think, so I gotta go pick out an outfit, I think I'm gonna wear a skirt today to work, um, I don't care what I look like at work anymore. Because I think I dress nicer than a lot of other people, and I don't really dress that nice, to be honest. But anyways, um, look at my little buddy. He sleeps in my spot. I can never make the bed. Say hi. He sleeps in my, my spot whenever I get up, so then I can never make the bed. And then the other one's up there. He sleeps on the, um, in the corner of my room. I'm not going to show you because it's a disaster zone, but is our TV and our direct TV box and our DVD player that we never use because we never watch movies in here. I, we rarely even watch TV in here. I don't even know why I have that in here. But um, he sleeps on the direct TV box. It's like the weirdest thing. Hey, you sleepy buddy. You said hi to YouTube. He's been sleeping all weekend. They're little babies. But anyways, I had a great weekend. This is a long, stupid vlog. Thank you for listening. Um, hopefully I'll get through today. I didn't go to the baby shower on Friday um, at work. I went and took a lunch at <laughs> 2 to 3 in the afternoon. Um, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I don't want to. And I know that's a topic lately. Um, I knew... I know... Um, YouTubers have been talking about baby showers, and I hate baby showers, and it sucks, but I, like, I will go for, like, my best friend or whatever, but I'm not going to a work one. I'm sorry. I'm going through a lot right now, and I don't really know that person, and it's a guy. All of the showers at work have been guys, so it's like, I'm not going. Like, I'm all set with that. I don't even want to sign the card. Like, don't give it to me, so... I know it's so negative, but, like, I can't escape it. Like, work is my outlet. Like, let me not have to be around it at work. So that's my theory. 
So anyways, um, so happy Monday. Have a great week. I'll try and get on here. I'm going to try and do TTW um, sometime this week. And then I'll let you know what the RE says about not getting AF. And so, yeah. So I will see you guys later. Have a fabulous week.